When I first joined the city of San Francisco, one of my first and primary goals was to broaden the value of open data. And part of that broadening was articulating the internal value of open data. But in order to do that, I really needed to understand what were the pain points around data in the city. In order to do that, I reached out to our, our, our citywide analyst network. These are our savviest, savviest data users in the city. And if I could understand their challenges, I could perhaps craft an approach. So I asked them a few questions. One of them I asked, how do you access data? And importantly, I asked them this two times. I said, one, how do you access data within your own department? But I also, how do you access data between departments? And their responses were interesting. So in both cases, they relied on existing information systems, but they also heavily relied on interpersonal relationships and contacts. And their rate of relying on that increased in the case of between, outside of their own department. I asked them another question. I said, what are your barriers when you access data from other departments? And they had lots of barriers, but two of their top three barriers were lack of knowledge that the data exists and lack of knowing who to contact. And so essentially what I did was I took these internal barriers and I called them our, our knowledge, access, and use barriers to data sharing in the city. And what I did is I built and crafted our entire open data strategy around trying to solve these barriers. And together we put that in a framework and the idea was that if we could solve these barriers, the central hypothesis was that clicker slow, clicker go. There we go. Okay, Data SF can help solve our internal data sharing challenges. And there's an important corollary to this. If we can solve our internal challenges, we help our external users de facto. So great, we have the strategy. We, we've quantified why this is the right strategy. So we've ate our own dog food, our own data dog food. Um, but how to get there? So in city and county of San Francisco, we have something called the data coordinators. And data coordinators are roles in each department and they're responsible for executing on the open data requirements and plan. And when we first convened the data coordinators together, we laid out our strategy to them and we showed the data and how it was grounded in real actual needs. And more so than you know, the philosophical value of open data, the theoretical value of open data, that was the most compelling and striking reason to them. They're like, that makes sense to me. But then they were like, you know what, Joy, I'm really worried about doing this because guess what? It's another unfunded mandate. We have other really important priorities. We're not sure how we're going to be able to do this all sorts of things. And so hearing this made me worried because I could see like us being like, we want to go this direction, but we just keep heading on our current path. And our sort of open data program had been a bit stuck for a while, and we really needed to reshape the path that we were on. So how to do that? Well, I got really into reading about change management, and if you have not read Switch by the Heath Brothers, I highly recommend. Woo! Yep, totally. And what they talk about is, speaking of said elephant, you have to first direct the writer. Check, we had done that. We, we had an intellectual motivation for why we wanted to do this. It made sense, the strategy aligned. But then we needed to motivate the elephant to sustain the change. And, and then, of course, we need to shape the path. We can talk about how we're doing that offline. And so I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, how am I going to motivate this giant elephant that is the city and county of San Francisco via the one single data coordinator in each department? And I thought about it a lot and um, was sort of stuck, and I came across this amazing quote. Strategies must be felt as personally meaningful and compelling. Thinking alone won't get you there. So how to make the pain of our data analysts, our savviest users, felt? And I woke up one Sunday morning, and I had it. We are going to simulate and have the great data hunt of 2014. So here's the setup. We reconvened all of our, our data coordinators. And we split them into teams and we said, Here, here's what you got. You have a handful of resources. You have yourselves, you have your teammates, you have papers and pads and pens, and you have a laptop. Answer these two questions in 20 minutes. But here's the catch. One of the questions could be easily answered using data from Data SF. The second question would lead you down a foray wasteland of PDF, attempting to pace but not being able to. 
and be a little soul crushing, right? So we unleashed them and they used all sorts of tactics um, from uh, talking to their teammates, uh, some got to data SF, some did not. They were all over the place in terms of their strategies. They all heavily started listing who they would contact. One guy even got up and called someone. So definitely relying on personal relationships. But at the end, regardless of tactics, what we all arrived at was that we had felt and shared the pain of not finding data together. And it's both that intellectual understanding for why we're doing this, as well as the feeling for why it, of, of the pain that is going to sustain the change that we need in order to reshape the path that our elephant is on towards being open by default. Thank you.